Hey guys, Average Adversary here. Multiple patches have been released for Witcher 3. We're currently at 1.04 and... And... And honestly, I don't feel like making this video because it's taking up time from me actually playing The Witcher 3. So if you came here wondering if I like Witcher 3 or not, you can stop watching because I basically just said so. I'm kidding, guys. Sort of. Okay, time to focus up a bit before I get into my first fanboy gush on this channel. New patches bring about better gaming performance. With the 2GB version of the GTX 960 at 1080p resolution, I got the following results using the same open environments that I used to benchmark The Witcher 3 in my previous video. This only tells part of my benchmark results so as I decided to see how the GTX 960 holds up in Novigrad, one of the largest cities in The Witcher 3. So I decided to average out the performance with 33.36 frames per second on ultra settings, 40 FPS on high, and 51 FPS on medium. I find that playing with graphics on high settings, Nvidia here works turned off, and post-processing on medium settings, I'm getting around 44 FPS. It is graphically pleasing with those settings and I find it best to play at locked 60 frames. With unlimited frames on, I annoyingly see stuttering while running around in the game even though there is no significant frame drops. Looking beyond frame performance, the graphics of The Witcher 3 have really impressed me. It may not be outright jaw-dropping like the first time I laid eyes on Crisis for the PC, but just take a look back at Witcher 1 and 2 and you can see how far the series has come. I mean the open world is so massive and everything moves along so seamlessly. Comparing The Witcher 2 and 3, yes The Witcher 2 is still a pretty game but try going for a swim. Not happening. Draw distance? limited or when you can see afar, it's locations you can't go to. It just amazes me that you can walk, run, ride, swim, or sail around such an open world exploring caves, the sea, towns, or cities with no loading. The only time I see a loading screen is the first time I start up a gaming session, fast traveling, after certain quest cutscenes, or when I die. Besides the technical marvel that is a seamless environment, the lighting, shadow, and weather effects are fantastic. You know what? I can't keep this bottled up anymore. Enough about the graphics. This game on a whole is amazing. The story is so gripping. You've never been a true hero in the Witcher series and consequences of your actions really play a part in Witcher 3. Even if you try to do what you think is right, the results may leave you feeling shocked with the outcome. I mean, you can invest hours helping a certain character only to realize saving a group of other young characters may result in the death of the character you were trying to help in the first place. Some of the beasts you've tracked down, once you've looked into their story as to why they're terrorizing a particular area, I couldn't help but feel sorry for some of them because of their tragic past or current circumstance. You encounter characters that give Geralt a seemingly innocent and somewhat noble quest only to find out that they're just using Geralt to further their own corrupt ambitions and to make sure he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. Even if you do something good for certain characters that ask you for help, they aren't immediately cheerful, which makes complete sense considering the atmosphere of Witcher 3. Sure, they are happy Geralt helped them out, but war is looming all around him. How can you truly celebrate when your land is being invaded and taken over? The mystery of why the Wild Hunt is after Ciri is keeping me engaged in the main story, but the side quests are so enticing that I keep getting sidetracked. The depiction of the Wild Hunt being feared as powerful beings gave me that oh feeling the first time I faced off against one of them, and I love that the gameplay matches my expectancy. I was not a fan of the controller mechanics of Witcher 1, and Witcher 2 overall seems to be a more difficult game than Witcher 3 on the normal difficulty that I play. I am not an RPG master, so I find this level of difficulty in Witcher 3 just fine, as I've died a few times and I appreciate the game making me think about how to change my strategy on taking on certain enemies. The most troublesome one so far being a werewolf and vampire, as well as the occasional gang of drowners. I love the variety of enemies you face off, learning which witcher sign and potion is most effective at taking down certain enemies, leveling up your favorite skill and using mutagens to amplify their power. I couldn't help feeling like a badass at level 16 taking on low level witcher contracts I didn't bother to do early on because I was trying to stick to the main quest. I mean, two hitting what is supposed to be a mini boss felt so sweet 
sweet and the awesome part of it is these lower level quests I still got awesome loot that pertain to my current level. I could go on guys. You have a game within a game with the Magic the Gathering style Gwent and I haven't even bothered to master that yet. You get to play as Ciri at certain flashback moments in the main quest and her playstyle is a cool departure from Geralt with her flashy speedy attacks. You got horse racing, deep sea exploration and um... Conan moments. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. <laughs> It has been a long time since I've been this immersed in a game and I don't think I will ever do a review of The Witcher 3 because it would take too damn long to make one and I don't feel like pressuring myself to finish this game quickly. I'll just say this, in 1998 I played what I considered the best game of all time, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt is my current game of the year for 2015, occasional glitches and all, and I believe this surpassed my love for Zelda. If you're a fan of the RPG genre, don't miss out on this game. I highly, highly, highly recommend you buy it now. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click that like button and subscribe for more content to come. That's it for now. I'm out.